Hi everyone, Football News is back with a new episode. There is no time to waste, so let's get started. Also, be sure to give this issue a like and let's get the show on the pitch. Cole Palmer's hat-trick goal in a match with Manchester United is the latest winning goal on record since 2006-2007 in a Premier League game. In the 19th minute, the footballer made the score 2-0, in the 90 plus 10th it was 3-3, and then in the 90 plus 11th minute it went 4-3. Anthony registered 15th goal involvement for Manchester United in his 76th appearance. The Brazilian has 10 goals and 5 assists. Palmer has scored 25 points according to the goal plus assist system in the ongoing Premier League season, the most among players in Europe's top 5 leagues under the age of 23. It's not easy to play against City away and also Liverpool away. It shows that Arsenal are ready to fight for the Premier League title, Alexander Zinchenko believes. Neymar has pocketed 933.2 million euros since the start of his career. The amount takes into account the player's salaries, sponsorships, and all other sources of income. Somebody needs to give Rashford an old-fashioned kick up the arse and say, come on, we need more from you, Roy Keane claimed. We deserve to win this game, but you can't give it away like we did. We started poor, giving the ball away and defending poorly for the first two goals and then we dominated the game and were brilliant," Eric Ten Hag said. Wearing the number 10 at Barcelona? It would be a dream for any child to be the number 10 at Barca. Nobody in this world would say no, but it's something that the club has to manage, Lemmy Mal stated. Liverpool and Arsenal have more points than us, so they are the favorites. But it's crucial for us to secure a spot in the Champions League, Pep Guardiola said. Manchester United are keen on recruiting Palmeiras attacking midfielder Talis. The Red Devils have already made initial contacts in order to find out the price tag for the 19-year-old performer in case of possible talks. Stefan Ortega on his future. It's not my single decision. My wife as well. Expecting a second child. I'm not in my early 20s, so I have to choose wisely, he told men. Ortega remains happy at City, but the prospect of being the first goalkeeper in another club still attracts him. Vincenzo Italiano will part ways with Fiorentina at the end of the season, as the plan remains clear for both sides. The manager remains focused on upcoming games and goals for the season, then he is leaving in June as planned. Fiorentina are already looking for another coach. Tottenham have joined Brighton in the race to sign Kieran Dewsbury Hall, with Leicester City potentially being forced to sell to help with their financial situation. The £45 million rated midfielder has a contract until 2027 and has 11 goals and 13 assists this season. La Liga referees earn a fixed salary of £124,256 annually. They also get £4,205 for every match or £2,102 if they are on VAR. Additionally, they are paid £21,929 a year for image rights due to the Worth Group sponsor on their kits. Luis Enrique wants to rely on Chavis Simmons at PSG next season. It remains to be seen if the Dutchman wants to return. Ross Barkley is likely to remain in the Premier League next season, even if Luton gets relegated. Manchester United have been linked with the midfielder. Rangers captain James Tavernier is being lined up for a big money move to Saudi Arabia with Steven Gerrard's Al Idifak. Sporting boss Ruben Amorim is open to a Premier League job amid major interest from Liverpool. Leicester City forward Abdul Fatou Isaku giving his mom a tour of the King Power Stadium is just so wholesome. Never give up in life, hard work pace. Real Sociedad will start talks with Real Madrid soon to see if they can sign Arda Gulleran loan for next season. Sometimes people ask me why I chose to play for Senegal instead of France. Maybe, but I believe in fate. I always say that I'm the fruit of two cultures, the French and the Senegalese. I'm very proud to be French, but for me, representing Senegal has been God's plan. Kaladu Koulibaly shared. Chabi Alonso did a great job. If one team wins the league all the time, it gets a bit boring, Mikhail Balak noted. Leicester City have entered the race to sign Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah, but face competition from Crystal Palace and Brentford. 
Arsene Wenger visited Real Madrid's training ground to present the best FIFA football award to players who were included in the FIFA FIFA Pro Men's World Eleven squad, as well as other awards. The Premier League is considering removing points deduction and including an NBA-style luxury tax due to concerns that top players might leave if their pay is restricted. Kaiser Chiefs defender Luke Flears tragically lost his life during a hijacking incident in Johannesburg. Absolutely devastating. Rest in peace, Luke. Paul Pogba went to watch West Ham vs Tottenham supporting his friend Kurt Zuma. Manchester United have put the Wolverhampton Wanderers captain Max Kilman on their shortlist. Signing a century back is a priority for the club this summer. Lazio captain and striker Chiri Mavili will consider an option to pursue his career in Saudi Arabia. Insults against his family and the overall situation at the club affect the position of the striker, who now has a serious temptation to leave the Eagles. Johnny Evans and Rafael Varane both forced off the pitch during the tie against Chelsea. The severity of their injuries is still unknown. Chelsea have won a Premier League game against Man United for the first time since 2017. When I was growing up, I was a Manchester United fan, Cole Palmer revealed. 16 years old Dorothy Mokio is now the youngest player to ever play for Ghent. Alejandro Garnacho has more Premier League goals than any other teenager so far this season. He scored 19 goals. Since 2015-16, there have only been two Premier League matches with 47-plus shots recorded. Those are Chelsea's last two games. Let's take a look at the results of yesterday's fixtures in Europe's top five leagues. Here's a brief recap of yesterday's fixtures. Liverpool remained at the top of the Premier League after beating Sheffield United 3-1 in a tough match, with goals from Nunez, McAllister and Gakpo. Chelsea and Manchester United delivered a roller coaster performance. At first, the hosts were leading 2 0 thanks to strikes from Gallagher and Palmer, then the Red Devils tried to go for a comeback, a brace from Garnacho and an accurate shot from Bruno. Though the last word were still with the Blues, Palmer managed to bag a hat trick for a 3. Unbelievable victory for Chelsea. Leave a like if you enjoyed this battle. Guys, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then it's time to click on the pause button and do it. Thank you. And now we are moving on to the main news of the release. Multiple clubs are showing interest in Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. According to El Debate, PSG are willing to pay 200 million euros for the Brazilian's move. Chelsea and Liverpool are also keen on his signature. However, the player himself wants to stay at Real Madrid, as he has said privately and publicly. Vinicius has been representing Los Blancos since the summer of 2018 after joining the ranks from Flamengo for 45 million euros. His contract with the club is valid until June 30, 2027. This season, the Brazilian has scored 18 goals and 6 assists in 28 appearances for the Spanish Giants. Arsenal are interested in signing Rodrigo in the summer transfer window. The Brazilian's future at Real Madrid is more uncertain with the arrival of Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe has told Real Madrid that he wants to play in the Euros for friends without any pressure about his future. As things stand, the move will be made official in first week of June before the Euros. Mbappe to Madrid? If it's on faith, I can tell you that 99.99% .99 of Mbappe will be a Real Madrid player. The only club left that can sign him is Madrid. And this is the statement from La Liga president Javier Tebas confirming Mbappe's upcoming move to Real Madrid. Bernardo Silva is considering leaving Manchester City this summer and he would love to join FC Barcelona. Xavi likes him a lot and he has a special release clause of 58 million euros for Barca. Now the club must have the final decision on his signing. Lamine Yamal gave an interview ahead of the Champions League quarterfinal clashes against PSG, and his words may shock the Red and Blues and the club's fans. Here's what the 16-year-old Barcelona forward said. We are all focused on Wednesday's game versus PSG, which is gonna be one of the most important of the season. Mbappe is a player who, whatever I look at, will do something different to me. That's why I think I have to help the fullback, and that's it. I think we can reach the Champions League final. What do we have to do to beat PSG? Play the way we play. Play our game and dominate them. My prediction for the first leg versus PSG? 1-0 win. I will score the goal. Barcelona rejecting a 200 million euros bid for me? 
I'm very happy that my work and my football are being recognized, but now I'm just focused on the next game. Let me name all claimed. Friends, that's it for today. Check out these suggested videos from our other projects. The Football News Channel was with you. Have a nice day everyone. Bye bye.